Resiliency in action, some of the words spoken in the National Transgender Day of Remembrance ceremony here in Belle Glade. Much of the focus on B. Love Slater. She was killed not too far from here. Her grandmother inside that ceremony, and for her, the pain is still so real. Time has done little to dull the sheer anguish for B. Love Slater's grandmother. He's still with my grandson, no matter what. B. Love's picture brings back memories of her life and death. She was such a kind heart, and for someone that young and so kind-spirited to be taken away so early is very devastating to anyone. Catalia Davenport, a friend of B-Love, one of around 100 people who attended the National Transgender Day of Remembrance Ceremony in Belle Glade. The names of the transgender women killed nationally over the past year Be love. read one by one. Kathalina Christina James. The first seven names read killed in Florida. The more education and understanding that people have about what it means to be transgender and that those folks aren't trying to trick anyone, I think that would really go a long way to helping people understand that there's nothing wrong with who they are. According to a CNN report, 22 transgender people have been killed this year nationally, all women, all black. What are you doing in your own community? This isn't just a Bell Glade issue. Activist Nick Harris says it is time for action. It's easy to come here, say names, leave, and go back home because it feels like someone else's problem. You must do your part to stop transphobia, homophobia, racism, sexism. You name it, these are all the things that harm these communities. Now, B Love's killer still has not been found. Supporters inside say they can't just sit back and wait on the police. They believe the information to catch the killer is in the community and it needs to be pulled out. In Belle Glade, Shane Wright, WPBF 25 News.